So now that we have board feet, we can go on to our second goal, calculating cost. But first we need to know what the lumber mill is selling the lumber for. And what unit of measurement do you think they sell by? Yep, you guessed it, board feet. So they will give us a cost per board foot. They'll tell us what it would cost to buy one of these in different species. In red oak, this might cost $3. In walnut, it might cost $7. Now these prices are per board foot, so if I want two of these, I need two board feet, I need to multiply that times the cost per board foot, cost per board foot. Now when we multiply across, board feet over board feet will cancel out, and that's going to leave us with our dollar sign. That's what we want, is cost. So two times three is six. So now back to my project. First I need to fill in the cost per board foot column. The table we're going to build is red oak, which right now costs $2.14 per board foot. So I'm going to fill that in for each of these pieces because they're all made of red oak. Next we can multiply board feet times cost per board foot to get our cost. Then we add all of our cost per piece together to get a cost at the bottom. Finally, we need to multiply by 1.3, which will add in 30% waste. So our total cost is $17.62. Now some of you may be wondering, why so much for waste? Why 30%? Well, waste consists of several things. First is the defects that you'll need to cut out, but you still had to pay the lumber mill for. This includes splits, knots, weighing, and discoloration. Next is the unusable scrap that gets cut off as you cut your parts to size, like this end of a board that's now unusable. And boards come in random width, so you rarely get boards the exact width you need. So you usually have some cut off the edge that gets wasted as well. Finally, it's the planned waste that you create, such as the ends of these boards that were kept long before edge gluing together. You plan extra waste because you know your boards need to be rough widths and lengths, knowing you need to keep it rough so that your finished cuts can be accurate. 